Hello and welcome back to Top 5s, the YouTube show in which we break down and discuss the top five original recordings from different UK artists and producers. I've been really looking forward to doing this one. It's one we've had on the back burner for a while. But uh, yeah, let's jump into today's episode. For today's edition of Top 5s, we have to jump right back into the grime scene to take a look at one of its highest achieving and most forward thinking producers, namely Rude Kid. Over the years, Rude Kid has played an essential role in Grimes movement forward, not only as a groundbreaking producer providing DJs and MCs with explosive instrumentals on a really consistent basis, but also as a DJ, working primarily alongside Getz to provide countless unforgettable live moments. Rude Kid has also gone on to become Kiss 100's leading grime force, hosting a weekly show that sees numerous MCs hit the station for live sets over the airwaves. Before we get into today's list, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel so far. The support and growth has been amazing and I couldn't be happier with the progress we're making. So thank you all. Without further ado, here's the list. Number five, the best. We kick off today's listings with what may actually be my personal favorite Rude Kid instrumental ever made. But of course, we want to try and make this list non-biased and be more based on impact as much as anything else. As the instrumental to Getz's unforgettable Sing For Me single, this one is an undeniable classic. What a tune this was, and not only because of Getz's verse. That marquee lead string line that just cuts through the super simple composition alongside those choppy drum structures with a real demonic theme give this one an instant placement on today's top five listing. As well as this, the track eventually received a 4x4 electro reboot from Rude Kid, which alongside Getz's classic, undeniably brilliant vocal saw him open up his fan base to a whole new group of people. So for impact, this one is definitely up there. Number four, Yaga. <laughs> Released in 2013 as part of Rude Kid's super well-received What The Hell EP, this one is another must-have for any fan of Grime. The instrumental structure on this one is slightly wacky, which makes it stand out in any setlist, be it with or without MCs. Structurally, this one boasts a very original array of instrumentation, from the funky horn syncopations and stabs, to the whistling melodic leads and wobbly bass lines, with them all coming together to create something extremely unique indeed. For me, this one is the standout track from that whole EP, meaning we simply couldn't not include it. I mean, how could we? It's just so damn catchy, and we're still hearing it on sets to this day. Number three, Electric. Yeah! As ever, Rude Kid comes up with something extremely original on this one, and as the title may suggest, this one is truly electric. Up until this point, we had seen bit crushed bass sounds get used a fair bit in dubstep creations and other 140 genres. However, in 2012, the Are You Ready LP landed, showcasing a completely new approach to grime, letting synthesizers do the talking as super electronic sounds washed over a skippy composition, leaving a lot of people wondering exactly what this type of tune was. This is a track we still hear on sets to this day, so to not include it in the selection would seem like a bit of a madness, especially given how many different subgenres of grime this one has gone on to inspire. Number two, Angels. <laughs> The thing we notice about Rude Kid throughout this list, more than anything else, is how unique and different every single one of the tracks involved in the list is. They are all grime, undoubtedly, but all different. It's quite an amazing thing to behold when you sit back and look at them all together. At number two on our list, we take in a slightly later addition to the catalogue as we jump forward to 2015 with the Voices EP, with the title track being another notable Rude Kid creation. This is undoubtedly one of the strongest instrumental bodies of work in grime history, with the incredible arrangement of angels sitting for us at the top of the tree. As a composition, this is definitely one of Rude Kid's more delicate works, combining a sizzling subline with glittering arpeggio and a stunning set of harmonies to again provide us with something fresh and new as he seems to do time and time again. Now before we get into our number one and highest place track on this list, I do want to point out that this is in fact my personal most impactful tunes. There are probably going to be some differing opinions on what Rude Kid's top five actually is, so I would love to hear about your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments section below. However, it's time to wrap this one up and we couldn't be more excited to do so as we jump into the number one on today's top five list with Rude Kid's One Take. <laughs> 
I think this time around the list was very difficult to put together overall, with the exception of first place, for once at least. One Take was an instrumental phenomenon when it dropped. You couldn't move for it. It was everywhere on every grime radio set that we heard coming over the airwaves. As an instrumental, it could only be classed as a classic grime piece. Working together a range of different historic grime snippets and Eskimo samples, ducking and diving at every turn. At the time of release, it was accompanied by one of Getz's most talked about vocal performances ever, along with a following host of vocal cuts from near enough every big grime name at the time. We've heard it remixed, we've heard edits, we've heard nearly everything we could have, with this track still being heard on sets to this day. This is undoubtedly for us, Rude Kid's number one creation ever. So there we have it, our top five Rude Kid instrumentals, and we are super, super happy with this. We want to send a massive thank you out to everyone who is watching these videos, and of course, Rude Kid, for over the years providing us with so many classic instrumental creations. If you did enjoy this video, please do make sure you're hitting the subscribe button on the channel, liking the video, and leaving a comment down the below down below, because every single one helps grow the channel into something bigger and better than before. That's it from me for this time, but please do make sure you check out Brecky in the Cave. We are live from 10 till 11.30, Monday to Friday, looking at the latest new music news while also playing you some of the latest bangers available right now. So don't go anywhere, and we'll see you soon.